Hello and welcome. This is Varun, Technical Advisor, Design and Prototyping and Educational Consultant for Tutomash.com. In this session, we will be discussing about advanced editing tools in AutoCAD. We have already discussed about the fundamental advanced editing tools in the previous video. Here we will be discussing about Rotate, Mirror, Scale and Fill. Rotate Rotate command is used to rotate the object at a particular angle. It helps you to align the object according to the way you need. The next one is mirror command. The mirror command helps you to mirror the object by reducing the time to design. The next one is scale. Scale command is very useful and very essential while designing complex drawings. It helps you to scale your drawings upwards or downwards according to your requirement. Normally, scale command is used widely by civil engineers as well as mechanical engineers to scale their drawing according to the size. It can be 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 10. The scale factor is the essential parameter that you have to input in order to scale an object. The next one is fill. Fill is a system parameter which enables you to display the filled objects such as hatch or 2D solids. You can make it on and make it off manually whenever you need. Now let's see these options in the software. Consider a drawing like this. So if you want to rotate this object, you can use the command rotate. The shortcut for rotate is RO and press enter. After pressing the command, you have to select the entire object whichever you want to rotate and press enter. So the next question is specify the base point. We have already discussed about the importance of base point in the previous video. So let me select the base point somewhere here and I will click it. So now you can see your object is free to rotate. If you want your object to rotate in exact 90 degrees, we can obviously use the ortho mode that is F8. So now you can see your object is directly rotating with respect to 90 degrees or else if you want to rotate your object again back to free mode, you can make your F8 off or the ortho mode off. So now you can see it is free to rotate about the axis. Now the command is asking to specify the rotation angle. You can give the rotation angle according to your need. Let it be 45 for this case and I will press enter. So now you can see your object has been rotated at a degree of 45. So the next command that we have to learn is mirror. Mirror command will help you to create the mirror image of the object. The shortcut for mirror command is MI and press enter. I will select the entire object of my requirement and I will press enter. Now it's asking to specify the first point of the mirror line. Now let's understand what is a mirror line. Consider I am placing a mirror exactly on this axis. So that means an image will be created exactly like this. Or else if I place the mirror here, the image will be created somewhere farther. So that means there is a line of the mirror which determines the distance of the mirror image. For the time being, I will select this as the first point. And the next point I will give at the last here. So now you can see the mirror image has been created but not had been placed. There is one more question that it is asking. It is asking that whether we want to erase the source object or not. That means do you want to delete this source object and create this one. You can put yes or no. I will put no. So now you can see the mirror image has been created. I will do the mirror image again. I will select this entire object and press enter. This time I will show the mirror line somewhere here. So now you can see it is creating the mirror image below like this. So it is creating the mirror image below with that distance here. So I will put it straight and I will put no. So the mirror image has been created. Now let's see the use of mirror and rotate in much more detail. Consider a plan of an office building like this. Now my requirement is that I want to rotate this entire building at a certain angle. So the command for rotate is RO and I will press enter. I will select the entire object like this and I will press enter again. Now it will be asking to specify the base point. We have already discussed about this base point in the previous video. For the time being, I will select the base point here. Now you can see the object is free to rotate at any angle. For the time being, I will give my ortho mode on that is F8 and it is ortho mode on. And I will make the building like this which is my required shape of the building now. So now you can see the building has been rotated according to my need. So this is how you use the rotate command in complex drawings. Now consider the cubicles available here. As you can see that there are different cubicle shapes available here and there are three vacant cubicles. So 
our requirement is that we have to draw this one again here. Drawing this one again and again will take time. So we can use mirror command. You may be thinking that why not we use copy. Copy command will copy this entire object in that alignment only. It won't come accurately here. I will show you what happens when copy command is used. The shortcut for copy is CO and I will press enter. This time I will select these objects and I will press enter. And for the base point I will select here and bring it over here or somewhere somewhere here. So now you can see the office equipments have been placed accurately but it's not aligned clearly. As you can see here the chair is facing towards the wall along with the table and the computer. But here it's exactly opposite. So in such situations we will be using mirror that is MI and press enter. I will select my object that we want to mirror and press enter. This time it's asking to specify the mirror line. To specify the mirror line I will select this midpoint and this midpoint. So now you can see that the object has been exactly aligned but not yet been placed. It is asking again the last question do you want to erase the source object or not. I will put no. So now you can see the exact mirror image has been placed. Similarly you can use the mirror command to mirror all these two equipments and press enter with this mirror line so that it can be aligned accurately in this room and press enter. So like that you can complete complex designs in a very quick manner. The next command that we have to learn is scale. Scaling means it can enlarge or reduce the size of the object without affecting its proportions. So the command for scale is SC and press enter. I will select the entire object which I want to scale and press enter again. It's again asking for the base point. This time I will show this as the base point. Now it's asking to give the scale factor. You can manually draw to show the scale factor or else you can give the scale factor value. If you give the value 1 means there is no change happening in the object that means it won't be getting enlarged nor will be getting reduced. So that is if you give any value higher than 1 the object will be getting bigger and if you give a value less than 1 the object will be getting smaller. So this time I will give a value called 2 that means it will be double the size of the previous value and press enter. So now you can see your object has been enlarged to its twice the size. Now imagine if I want my object back in the previous scale. So I can use the scale command and select the entire object and press enter and I will select this as the base point. This time I will give the scale factor as 0.5. That means half of the present size and I will press enter to get the initial size of the object. So like that you can toggle with the scale factor according to the need. Scale factor is really important while designing civil structures, mechanical parts which resembles to their original size. So you can use the scale factors to adjust the drawings according to the sheet you use. We will be learning to set the scale while printing in AutoCAD. The next command that we have to learn is fill. Fill is a system parameter by which we can make it manually on off to display the fillness of an object. Consider I will hatch my drawing like this and I will press escape. Now at some circumstances I don't need to see this hatch again and again because it may trouble me at times. So what I can do is that I can make my fill option off. To access the fill you have to type FILL and press enter. Now it's asking to enter the mode. It is defaultly on now so you can make it off that is OFF and press enter. But nothing relevant has been changed in the drawing. That is because your drawing has not yet been refreshed or regenerated. So this time we have to refresh our drawing. To refresh or regenerate the drawing we use the command called RE that is regen. Regen will help you to reload or refresh your drawing. After typing RE I will press enter. So now you can see it is showing that your regenerating model has been activated, it has been refreshed and your fill option has been made off. So eventually making your hatch pattern hidden. Now if you want to see your hatch pattern back you have to make your fill mode on and press enter and you have to type RE and press enter. So it has been refreshed and your fill mode is back. At some circumstances when you try to do the hatch patterns in your drawing like this nothing is literally visible for you and you will escape and you will wonder what is happening to my software. It's nothing but your fill mode is defaultly off. So you must know that you have to make your fill mode on to make your hatch pattern visible. 
So I will type my fill and press enter. I will make it on and I will press enter again and I will type re and press enter. So now you can see the hatch pattern is back. In my experience, I have seen that a lot of people forget to toggle with the fill command and conclude that it's something wrong with the PC or the software. So that's the end of this session and we hope you understood well. Keep posting your queries and feedback and for more videos, log on to www.tutomash.com. Thank you.